I don't know if this was if this was part of uh, part of your beef. Okay, and so it was, and so Love was this show. It's by Judd Apatow, and it's on Netflix, and it follows this kind of neurotic, half crazy couple as they meet in Los Angeles and go about getting together. And anyway, it starts really good. I mean, first episode, they get together. You have to like suspend a little belief, but then you know you're you're kind of hooked. They're cute. It's funny. It's... There's a lot of hardcore sex. Hardcore sex. Yeah, really. that's what I heard about Netflix doing the NC-17 shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so like, so anyway, really liked the show, and then it just sort of derailed early, late in season two, early in season three, as it just followed this, it's like four episodes in, the, in a row of it, this couple just fighting, like just from idiot standpoints and just like neurotic the worst girls you've ever dated kind of like just and don't and you're and it was just like okay i'm done with this and then it sort of recovered just in time for the season finale but like i was gonna ask if you had any like i heard that walking dead really did this i heard that walking dead just sort of was everyone's favorite show and then it derailed and now it sucks yeah yeah any like that you remember seeing like that that you really loved and then it just fell apart on you and you sort of gave up on it? There's very few shows that I do make it through to the end because I just feel like the nature the nature of TV now and I mean maybe even like a lot of art in general is just like more focused on okay, grab your attention, put all the good stuff up front. And because you need everything, you know, you need to do everything you can do to get eyes on you or get people attracted to to your product. You know, it's a it's a five star society, as you're so uh, fond oh, of boy. saying. Oh, um, here we go. <laughs> here but, we go. Uh, but I think it's like no one's no one's really in it for the long haul. I mean, you look at it for like uh, like music. I think that it's always like okay, someone wants to put out a crazy single or focuses on like one or two songs that are super good. And then everyone's like, Oh man, this, this guy's awesome. And then they put out an album of shit. And no one remembers it after a month. Is, you know yeah. I mean? People don't even like, people don't buy albums anymore. No, no. So it, it, that it is, it's like, I think just kind of, uh, part of our consume and discard method of like, watching things now or listening to things or doing whatever it's just kind of like just just put all the good stuff up front get people hooked or at least eyes on it and then like well we don't really know what to do now yeah you know because we sort of did everything crazy right off the bat and now i guess we have to sustain it because the ratings are good enough like back in the day it was always my favorite thing yeah, you'd get a new album and you'd listen to like the first three or four tracks a ton, but then it was always the deep track that became your favorite after a while. Like yes. you'd discover something that you had that just like it took you a minute to get into the song, but something, you know, something about that song would hit you in a different way. And I just don't even think that exists anymore. I could be wrong to some extent. I'm definitely not it's probably different with indie music and stuff, but like God, I feel like the big acts, you know, they've got, yeah, they got their couple songs and then, you know, and they might be catchy. And of course, they're all very formulaic, just like the, any movie these days. But but the rest of the album is just like, might as well just be shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it just, it's it's filler, yeah. you know. And but, but I agree. That was, I mean, all the bands that I adored um, and still do really like, you know, in my sort of, formative high school years of listening to music were bands that I like, you know, would buy, listen to a little bit and then maybe you'd put it away. And then it's that second round of listening. That's really going to determine if you really liked a thing or not, you know, yeah. it's like you kind of get over that initial hump and be like, okay, I get what this is. Move on to something else. And then when you come back to it, I feel like that's when you make your, your choice of like, Oh yeah, this is, you know, something I'm really into or not. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I, I don't really have TV shows like that. I do think TV shows are unique and that they kind of got to push everything out front, get some really good shit in the first season, just in hope of maybe getting a second season. 
And like a lot of times I think they don't consider in the story. Like I don't necessarily know if there's an end game with TV shows in the way there is with movies. You know what I mean? You're, you're right because they're just hoping to get through one thing at a time. Um, I feel like a lot of times in TV and like love, I felt this way too. It's and something else I just watched. It's like they blow their load too early. It's like they feel like they've got to make these big changes. And like love, it's a situation where you're just really starting to enjoy these characters. And instead of like exploring that for a while, it's just like immediately into the bad parts of a relationship. Mm-hmm. And it's like it wasn't really sprinkled it in. I just felt like you guys, you move too fast. You could have stretched that out and had a great show for another couple seasons with like right. exploring the first parts of the relationship, which is what people really like enjoy seeing. Once it became like this disaster fest, you're just like, it was, I know it was meant to be uncomfortable, but it was just like fucking an, oh, on, really an onslaught of just like, holy shit, you're psychotic. This is not fun to watch. It reminds me of my worst relationships, my worst moments. And I know that's kind of what they wanted to do, but it was just like not why I wanted to watch a show. I didn't want to relive the worst relationships I've ever had. That's not like, does that sound like a fun time? Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> but but you think about it, it's a timing thing because they're like, I especially now when you know it's a Netflix or an Amazon show, they're recording an entire season at once and they don't know are we going to get are we going to get a next season of that like they almost have to kind of just be like well we don't want fans to be disappointed if we can't tie yeah. this up in a you know satisfactory way it's almost like there's this pressure to be like this might be really well received or not well received at all we might as well put everything we can in this season and then if people like it I guess we'll do another one, you right? Know? Um, so yeah, but but that's the thing. I mean, it would mean so much more if the if the showrunner's idea was to have a bad relationship thing happen or to show that. How much more would it mean if you had two seasons of a good relationship first? Right. You know, what I mean, like you you kind of have to build towards stuff like that. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, maybe they kind of did, but also it's the thing with Netflix and binging where it's like you're through two seasons in like a day and a half. Yeah. And maybe that's, and and that's another thing that's maybe on you. Yeah. Right. You know, (laughs) like maybe it wouldn't seem like that if you watched it. Timed it out a little bit. So that's, that's tough. Spaced it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who knows? So Mark is not in love with love anymore. I enjoyed the ending. It ended on a high note. Is there going to be another? Is there another season? Nope, it's over. They stopped doing it. I didn't really see why, but uh, probably thought they had taken it about as far as they could. I would guess. <laughs> We've done all we can. We've done all we can for you. And I'm Judd Apatow. I don't have time to make any more Netflix shows. That's probably what it is. So what's next on your uh, TV watch and tap? You got something to start it up? Yeah, I think Goliath season two. Oh, see, I was gonna say I saw that coming around. I remember you talking about Goliath. Yeah, you I enjoyed Bob. season one quite a bit. Billy Bob is tremendous, and it was a fun story. I don't. I thought they did a lot with season one, and I didn't know how much further they can take it. So we'll see what they do. Uh, no, no, uh, not holding my breath, but uh, okay. yeah. but yeah, giving I mean, it a, giving it a shot. I uh, I read. A little bit, not a lot, and I don't think this really counts as a spoiler. But um, 